Hey guys, Sam here from K Powered. This is the third video of our new K20 EM2 project. The K20 is successfully swapped in and now we have to worry about the most complicated topic of this whole swap, the electrical system. In order to get the K20 working, we need to relocate the battery to the trunk because there is not much space in the engine bay anymore. The next big topic is the rewiring of the K-series engine harness so that the K20 can successfully communicate with the rest of the car. Last but not least, we need to wire in the primary oxygen sensor completely separate from the engine harness. For the battery relocation, we need a very long power line with a fuse, one or two ground cables, a battery box which we're gonna mount in the trunk and a vent tube to get any released gases from the battery out of the car. Okay, let's install all these parts. Okay, and now we rewire the engine harness and wire in the oxygen sensor. Okay, we're done. Next topics on our list are the fuel lines, clutch line and the throttle cable. 
A case for one a Honda Civic M2 is no rocket science. If you are thinking about upgrading your own car, check out our K20 M2 swap course where you're gonna learn everything about the whole swap process. Just click the link on the right side of the video. Well, that's it for today. See you in the next episode.